All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to a new Minecraft command block creation. This one allows us to craft six different kinds of new TNT, which I feel is sort of a, a fan favorite. Everyone likes blowing things up, hot off the heels of that whole missile command as well. So let's get started. Command's already in the command block, turn it on. It's by the Red Engineer, just like the last one was. I guess he likes explosive things as well. It's called Special TNTs. Again, by the Red Engineer, you can get all the item recipes. If you click on the sign, it'll just go over all of them in chat. I already have all the items in my inventory, though. So let's just get to making things and blowing them up, because why not? All right, let's make the first TNT here, which is the Russian Roulette TNT. Kind of a, kind of a game. You can play with other people. That's the use I see for it. We'll need a flint and steel in order to trigger off all of these. So the idea is you place the thing on the ground, and it's like a TNT inside of a box, and you never, it's kind of like a Schrodinger's TNT situation. You never know whether or not it's gonna actually go off. Um, so you click on it, no explosion this time, you're lucky, it says at the bottom of the screen. Try again. Ooh, no, we're still good. So you can like go around in circles with friends on a multiplayer server because the command works in multiplayer. And yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Wait, oh, we're still good. No, oh, it's still good. No, oh, there we go. Yeah, um, <laughs> Captain Sparkles tried his or her luck with a Russian roulette TNT. He, she wasn't lucky. All right, so can take. I let's try this again. Let's see if we can get it on like first try. I wonder how much it can vary. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God, really? How many? Oh God! <laughs> I feel like that one took quite a while. Can we get it any earlier? Two, three, four, five, six, God dang it, seven. Oh, there we go. Oh, it feels kind of like I did this challenge video a while back with uh, Steven Suftik where we did this balloon Russian roulette thing where you hold the balloon up to your ear with this like needle gun and pull the trigger and eventually it pops and it's just horrifying and it kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, that's the Russian roulette TNT. Play with your friends. Have a grand old time. All right, next up, uh, we have got ourselves some random TNT, which I guess sort of sounds like what we just did with the Russian roulette TNT, except uh, definitely very different. We're gonna back away, because we don't wanna be too close to our command block machine. The way this thing works is when you place it down, it really it creates this like randomized effect, randomizes where the TNT blocks are actually placed down, and then you set one off, and from there, it randomizes again and decides to set off like two or three of them. So, let's see. Here we go. So that was one, two, three. Just blew up right there. <laughs> of the ones that, that got placed down, only three of them are actually active. The rest end up disappearing. Here, let's do it one more time. Okay, here we go. Can I actually open, whoop, I was trying to open the thing. All right, it's hard to like, kind of keep all of them in view. Let's try as best we can. One, two, three, just blow up. <laughs> and I lit the ground on fire. All right, cool your jets. There we go. So there you go. That's the randomized TNT. In case you just feel like doing some randomized destruction, it's actually kind of, it's kind of cool if you think about it, if you were trying to build a set or something like that to look really war-torn, it would be cool to use this because then you can like totally randomize where the craters will be. Because oftentimes when you're just choosing where to put the explosions yourself, it's hard to make it look completely random. So this accomplishes it for you. Um, so, you know, there you go. All right, next up on the agenda, we have the destructive TNT, which is pretty similar to like a normal kind of TNT. I don't know why I just trashed my flint and steel. That wasn't the smartest idea, um, except it has kind of a cool effect to go along with it. So put it down here. It has this like hybrid TNT creeper sort of look to it, which I think is pretty cool. If we light it up, it blows up immediately. It's a pretty big explosion. So like slightly larger than normal TNT, I think. Uh, but it also like tosses blocks up in the air that will then land. And I think it's just a pretty cool looking effect. No like special properties to it by any means. But, you know, that looks pretty nifty for more of a, a realistic explosion kind of deal. Here, let's blow it one more time. 
Look at those blocks go. Pretty cool. So that is the destructive TNT. Fancy, big explosion, blocks going in the air, all the above, that sort of thing. This one, Thunder TNT, which is, it's more like Lightning TNT, because um, Lightning is the actual electricity bolt coming down. Thunder is just the sound. Uh, but hey, you know, whatever. Not a big deal. So it's not really TNT in the sense that it makes an explosion happen, but yeah, you know, you'll just watch. Um, blue. It kind of different, right? But then again, it's very different compared to normal TNT. So I, I assume you can kind of figure what's going to happen. But very loud. That's two percent volume too. Okay, it's still happening. I thought I turned weather off. Um, this works especially well if you go into a forest, for example where there are lots of flammable things and all the lightning will come in and hit all said flammable things and just make lots of really good things happen. There we go. Now it's a little bit more bearable. Um, so you can burn down a forest really quick, really easily. If you just want to get rid of all those pesky trees. You don't like nature. Then Thunder TNT. That's the thing for the job. Also definitely reduce your frames a little bit. Also you can do, this is what Red Engineer did in his video. Just, you know, set down a few of these puppies. Uh, that's the wrong one, but that's fine. Maybe we can light that one off as well. Just set down a few of these things and light one and then let the right, the lightning ignite the rest of them and just have a massive lightning storm. Pretty cool. Not all of them got tripped off. Hold on. Let's get that one and we'll just add like, you know, that into the mix as well. Are you still there? I think I've overloaded things a little bit. <laughs> It's like phasing in and out of existence. All right. I am really good for the environment. Just a, just great. So that's Thunder TNT. Or Lightning TNT. Even though it's called Thunder TNT, I kind of want to call it Lightning TNT. But that's fine. Uh, next up, this one's kind of nifty. Uh, more so nifty if you, again, are playing on like multiplayer servers. Because you probably don't want to just, when you're in single player, blow yourself up. But it's cool. So the Kamikaze TNT, you place it down and you're like, huh? I just, I just happened. I don't, I don't understand. It, uh, I do not see anything. But then you go into F5 mode and you're like, oh, there's a TNT on my head. Oh, I get it now. Kamikaze TNT. Like, I'm the TNT. So you actually become the TNT. Boom. Wait. There you go. You stand in fire and you blow up. <laughs> Hold on, see, watch this. I'm gonna put that down. Put the Kamikaze TNT down. Whoop! Whee! There we go. It's cool for like rocket jumping. Um, very cool for rocket jumping. Except it doesn't work so well if you're in survival mode. Um, we, hence the name Kamikaze. So let's do slash game rule and we'll go into survival and then put it down. Now I have the TNT on my head. And uh, here we go. Whoop. That's why it's called Kamikaze TNT. Um, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. You can just run up behind someone and uh, light up, you know, underneath your feet. And they're going to go down with you. So you're pretty nifty. All right. So Kamikaze TNT. There you go. The last one we've got here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool as well. It's called Inverting TNT. And... Hard to describe exactly how this works, so I'll just go ahead and show you. We'll put it down next to this oak tree. And uh, so it's just upside down TNT is what it looks like. Um, here we go. <laughs> like, wait a minute, what, what just happened? So it like inverts the environment and then it brings cobblestone up to the surface it makes the leaves on a tree made of the wood and if i didn't put the tnt so close to the ground it would make the trunk of an oak tree turn into the leaves um if we get close to water it'll turn some of the water oh that was actually within the radius right there it'll turn some of the water into lava because there was more water obviously it you know ended up as obsidian um here let's just set this off see if we can get some lava to actually Okay, if possible. Not quite, not quite. So there's like an explosion to it, plus it does the whole... There we go, all right, now we got some lava left over. Let's see if we can get the, uh, the tree. We'll set the, we'll set the thing far enough away that it doesn't blow up the tree in the explosion. There we go. 
<laughs> it's an inverted tree. It's got the the trunk of, of leaves. Same over here. Uh, I believe it only works for oak trees. Hold on. Let's set it up in this whole oak tree forest over here. This could be a good effect. Okay. Let's check it out. Boom. There we go. A lot of inverted trees. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then... Um, I think lava is like supposed to turn into water, except in, in his video, it didn't seem like it was happening. So I'm not sure if, you know, that'll, uh, that'll actually take place. We'll give it a little test right here. Um, let's see if it's changed since what he did. No, it looks like it still stays as lava. It was worth a try. So anyway, that's the inverting TNT. You can really change your landscape pretty quickly. You make some, uh, some cool stuff. So there we go. Um, that was the special TNTs command. If you want to check it out yourself, there's a link in the description. You can go to the command page, copy it, put it into your world. Totally vanilla. Uh, 1.11, don't need any mods or anything like that. And I guess I'll leave it off there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to check out more commands and all that sort. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to check out new outro music, um, yeah, new upload on, on Mara Music as well. Link is in the outro. All right, I'll see you next time.